What is going on you guys? My name is Caesar, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Aware Element. It is a Type 4 sensor you guys and it's on the Planet Watch website. You go to planetwatch.io or planetwatch.us. I usually go to the US one because I'm in the US but both sites are legit and you guys we're going to get all into it right here. This is the Aware Element you guys. I ordered it. I am happy to set this up. I'm happy to start earning some more cryptocurrency. I do got other miners. This one's called a sensor. They don't call it a miner, but you're still mining cryptocurrency. So you guys, this is definitely recommended right here. So in this video, we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing and I'm gonna tell you guys all about the Aware Element Type 4 sensor. So I did wanna start off by telling you how much you guys could earn. So you could earn a total of 23 tokens per day and right now the going price is actually at 28 cents so let me take out my calculator here you guys so you can make six dollars and 44 cents but that is that's for one day and that's today's prices you guys of course it's going to be going up in the future at least that's what i think that is not financial advice by the way you guys this is like futuristic type stuff you guys i know in the future companies even maybe the government's going to want to know like different air qualities in different locations all across the u.s all across the world and in that time they might be doing contracts with planet watch and and if that happens, the coin is gonna go up and up and up and up. And that's what I'm gonna take advantage of, you guys. So like right now, it's only $6.44 today, but in the future, it could be more. At least that's what I think in my personal opinion. All right, you guys, so let's check this out right here. And I did get that information from CoinGecko, you guys. It was, um, the coin was last week at 35 cents. So it has gone a little bit up. I wanted to say it reached an all-time high of 40 cents as of recording this video, you guys. So of course, that's gonna be more per day. Okay, so this is it. There is two type 4 sensors. There's also a type 1 sensor, type 2 sensor, type 3 sensor, and uh, there is two type 4 sensors. One is mobile. You could actually like attach it to your backpack if you go to work or you go to school for a couple hours. Uh, they, I think they recommend eight hours or so out of your house and then you come back. Uh, you could also earn planets and planets are the cryptocurrency that you're paid out in you guys. It's called planets. So you could also earn from that, but I'm gonna be earning from this. I'm gonna see how it goes, and then I'm possibly gonna be adding. I looked at the Type 1 sensor, and it looked very promising, and I was kind of like, uh, I wanna see how this one goes, and then I'll decide later on if I wanna do that one or not. Okay, you guys, so let me talk about this uh, before we get started, and I do wanna say, since we were talking about like earnings and everything, I did wanna say that there is two tier systems tier one and tier two if you're in a tier one in your location you actually get the most if you're in a tier two tier two means that you're in like a non-populated area or if you are in a populated area somebody already claimed the tier one because the first to act is like the first to get the tier one so in my area you guys could actually go to the website planetwatch.us and then you actually could click on the map and see your area before you actually purchase to see if it's even worth going for if you're in a tier one spot uh, it's probably gonna be worth going for if you're in a tier two spot i would probably still get it even though i was in a i'm in a tier one but if i was in a tier two i probably would still get it because i'm looking at the long run you guys but anyway so if you go on the map and all the rectangles that are in purple that means those are tier one like i said if you're in a high populated area and you don't see a rectangle there that means somebody had already claimed it so somebody is there already with a sensor so that's how you go ahead and check it's very simple to do on the website okay you guys so i am more i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm more interested in earning cryptocurrency but it is a cool thing that you know to offer uh air quality around the world and maybe we could change something one day and maybe benefit from actually having these sensors but uh that's one day in the future so hopefully that does happen but i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am interested in earning cryptocurrency number one okay so this thing does a couple different things the first thing it does is it does take the temperature you could actually put this up anywhere you want in 
your house you can only have one per household you guys they uh they limit if you have two they're not going to be earning that much it's kind of like a helium miner you can only have one within a certain radius okay so that is a cool function that i do like and that i am interested in so i still don't know where i'm putting this in it could be either my master bedroom or the living room i'm still undecided to this moment it does check the humidity level so that is pretty cool too much or too little humidity can impact your health and trigger asthma and eczema flare-ups did you guys know that one okay the next one is co2 the more that somebody's talking in a room like i am right now the more co2 that's getting spit out and then the more co2 so like if uh, you have one or two people in there and everybody's like breathing whatever it's gonna it's gonna the levels are gonna actually rise but hey that's one thing this thing is i the next one is i don't know it's total vos is it's a it's chemical i'm not sure the volatile or organic compounds are emitted by many common household materials and products and can cause chronic health problems okay so that's the fourth thing and then the fifth thing uh particle matters okay exposure to microscopic pollutions from cooking wild fires and other sources can increase your risk of infection and disease okay so those are the things that it's kind of like looking out for one of the things that i didn't know before i uh, purchased one of these is i didn't know if it was like going to be wi-fi or if it was going to be ethernet and these are actual wi-fi connected so that actually kind of hinders where i'm going to be putting this because the master bedroom is on the other side of the modem so just keep that in mind when you guys are purchasing yours okay so let's go ahead and open this up actually one more thing so i did want to talk about the licensing there is licensing and you do have to buy specifically for that sensor so if you have a type 1 sensor you have to buy the license for the one so it's a little bit confusing but um, as long as you guys are on the website and reading the website you guys will know this is a type 4 sensor so I purchased a type 4 sensor for three years you could buy in increments in one year so they got one year you got a two year and you got a three year three year you're gonna make the best bang for your buck that's why I did the three year okay so you have to have the product, the actual sensor, and you also have to have the license. Okay, you guys, so this is it right here. Let me open it up. I'm kind of excited to get this up and running actually. So this is what you guys are gonna get right here, right? It's nice, it's clean. We have the aware elements. It looks like it might be like a little pamphlet right here. You guys could read through this, all that good stuff. Let's put this off to the side all right you guys so this is it it's pretty light it does have i just want to cover up this so it does have like nice little holes in the back right here it looks like this is where the air gets sucked in i could be wrong but that's what it looks like and it also is a usb-c plug all the way in the back i like those versus uh, any other plug actually so i am glad that it has that actually now that i think about it this is probably the intake that right here so i'm at, i'm gonna be doing more videos on this i'm gonna be finding out more stuff and of course i know you guys want to know how much i actually earn because it does say 23 on the website 23 plants tokens per day but it could be less it could be more and then uh, people also want to find out how like how long until you see your roi return on investment and it's going to be a while for this because i actually purchased from the secondary market if you purchase from their website if they have it it kind of takes a while longer and versus i don't want to quote a certain time but like i'm just saying like versus having one in 12 weeks versus buying it on ebay or on amazon getting it in a couple days I'm going to be buying it on the secondary market, you guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. And you guys, there's not that many moving parts here. We do have the switch. I want to point out that I did buy a US switch. This is for 110 volts. There is one for 220 if you guys are on the other side of the, I was going to say the US of the world. And then we do have the USB plug right here. Okay, I'm gonna have my finger right over it covering it, nice. Okay, and then like I said, we got USB and then USB-C right here. So all we have to do is plug it into the back and it goes in nice and easy, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was just a little bit of unboxing and a little bit of information of what Aware Type 4 sensor has to offer you guys. Consider watching more of my other videos that could talk about more about different cryptocurrencies and different videos about mining. And I will check you guys out in the next video.